niggas pulling gimmicks cause they scared of rap. Ay. Funny how they shook, ayy, got them niggas shook. Pulling back the curtain by myself, take a look, ayy. I'm a bar spitter, I'm a hard hitter, yeah, I'm light. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Kitty, and I'm here with my first YouTube video. And before the video starts, I'm gonna need you guys to like and to subscribe to my YouTube channel, and let's get it going. In the fall, I am gonna be currently attending the Eluxurious, I like saying that, you know, everybody be saying that, but the Eluxurious Dillard University in New Orleans. Woo! D-U! I'm lame, y'all, y'all gotta go that. But anyways, yeah, so, um, I'm gonna be going to Dillard University, uh, and my major's gonna be nursing, and I'm really excited to go, like, I'm, I'm just ready to go, I'm gonna count down the days and everything, but, yeah, I'm just ready to go, y'all. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about is Dilly University's admissions process. Um, for me, to be exact. Um, for me, the admissions process, it kind of went by smooth. Like, I mean, if I would have handled my business, you know, how I was supposed to handle my business, you know, I'm not going to talk about that. But if I would have handled my business like I was supposed to handle my business, it would have been even more smoother. But for the most part, it's been like a little smooth route, you know, getting into school and doing all this extra stuff. I'm telling you, DU23, DU24, y'all gonna see when I say extra stuff, it's a lot of extra stuff. But yeah, so so basically I'm gonna talk to you guys about why I chose Dillard and like my journey into going into Dillard. And the reason why I chose Dillard is because, so I'll give y'all a little story time. So my junior year of high school, I was on the step team and we got invited to go to Dillard to um, step at one like one of their little shows over there, or something like that, um, by a really good friend, Joseph, Joseph Carwell, Mr. Dillard University. Wait, you watching this? You my boy. Oh my God, you my boy. You know I'm telling you, you my boy. But anyways, yeah, so we got invited to the step and um, before the show, we did like a little campus tour, but you know, I didn't think nothing of it. I was like, man, I'm gonna do it, you know. I don't really care, it's a small school. I was like, man, I'm not going here. Cause I was, I had my heart and soul set on Howard. Like, I was like, oh, you know, I'm about to go to Howard, HU22, da da da. No, it didn't work like that. And I'm gonna tell y'all uh, about that too. But, um, so we did a little campus tour around school. I was feeling, I was like, okay, everybody nice, um, the admission counselors were nice, and just every, like, the, the campus, like, I thought I wanted to be on the big campus, I really did, but it did show me that I, you know, small campuses are just a better fit for me. I don't know about other people, but it's a better fit for me. And everybody there, just, just, Everybody, it's just a vibe when I when I stepped on to campus. Like it was just like, okay, hold on, like this how y'all doing it over here? Like, oh, okay, okay, I like that, I like that. So, like I said, just the vibe that I got when I got to Dillard, it was like, okay, yeah, this might, you know, I start considering it. But you know, I still had Howard like held up to here, like I was like twenty two. I'm telling y'all, I'm telling y'all, was so. Oh, and then another thing, Dillard is like in the middle of New Orleans, and that day we, you know, rode around the city and stuff, and I was like, oh yeah, it's my city, like Houston, I, I will always have love in Houston, but NOLA, New Orleans, I was like, yeah, this is the place to be, I said, yeah, this is the place to be, so yeah, that, like, just all those little pinpoints, I was like, okay, I will, I'm really, like, considering Dillard. But you know. Okay, so the initial requirements to get into Dillard is an 18 on your um, ACT, is a 950 on your SAT, and a 2.5 GPA. And to me, I feel like anybody can get, not anybody, but I feel like a lot of people can get that, can reach that requirement to get into the school. Me personally, I don't think it's that hard, but you know, it's other two might be. And um, I'm gonna say this. Um, if you are an incoming junior or already a junior, please, 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 I want to beg you, please take care of your business then. Like, do not wait until senior year like I did. That was my biggest mistake in all this, you know, little journey. 
That's my biggest thing, not taking care of my business by junior year because of junior year, that's like when you really crack down, you know, you try to get the your highest GPA, you try to get your um, highest test scores on either test. And so when it's time to fill out college applications and send scores and all that stuff, you won't be waiting, like, you won't be waiting for, you know, your test scores to come back because when you do your senior year and you take all your tests your senior year and stuff, it's like you gotta wait for test scores to come back and then you gotta worry about deadlines that's gonna come up. Yeah, and then you're gonna have to worry about deadlines and, and all that extra stuff and that's just gonna put extra stress on you your senior year that you really, do, you don't need all that stress on your senior year. So my advice to you is to, um, to take your test and get all your, uh, the extra stuff out the way your junior year. So your senior year, you can just fill it out, send it in, and go from there. You don't have to stress about nothing. Oh, another thing I want to talk about is when you are dealing with, um, with, you know, with like getting into college and all that good stuff, don't be afraid to ask questions, especially if it's about like your money or like your room in assignments or just like all that good stuff. Don't be afraid to ask questions because or be annoying what they say because when you don't then they just i won't say they push it to the side but it takes longer but when you're annoying you know you you say annoying but like when you like you know really like on your stuff about it and like keep you know asking about it i'm pretty sure they're gonna be like okay let me get this man stuff out the way because he can call it he can da da but i mean <laughs> you want to be at the bottom of the list or you want to be all the way at the top so i advise you just to you know, do what you gotta do. You gotta call them 24 seven, wake up right when they get to work and call them, do that. Because guess what? You gonna get your stuff then, rather than the next guy who's been waiting. He's scared to ask questions. He's scared to um, call. It's not not gonna be in until late. So just don't, don't be afraid to um, ask questions. Please don't be afraid to ask questions. That was how me, that, that's how I was. Um, I was one of those people like, okay, I'm just doing like, you know, I don't care, I don't need, need nobody help. But then when I start asking questions, you know, getting advice from like people who already go there, people who, you know, are already in college, it just helps the process. It just makes the process way much more easier than um, it was at first. I'm telling you, it's going to be stressful, but it's kind of fun at the same time. Like, it's, it's, it's a learning process, I'm telling you, trust me, when I first start, you know, college applications until like now, I have like 30 something more days until um, I move in. I'll just, I, I gain so much knowledge about, you know, dealing with professional people and like colleges and stuff. So it's it's a learning experience. I mean, you don't, you don't love it. And I think that's pretty much it for this video, for my first video. You know, I feel like I'll miss, uh, I feel like I didn't talk about a lot of stuff, but if you need something, you know, answer it. And I can probably answer it. Just put it in the comment section. You know, I can get you back like that. Like, I'm gonna interact with y'all. Like, I'm not gonna be like other YouTubers who probably not go, who probably like don't answer the question in the comments. Like, I'm a, cause I was, I, I was one of those people asking questions in a comment, and nobody would answer. So I feel like, you know, I'm obligated to answer y'all questions. And you know, I, you know, by this being my first video, I'm just, I'm so excited, y'all. Y'all don't know how long I've been wanting to make this video, like, for the longest I've been wanting to make this video. And, you know, I'm finally making it, and I'm just happy, like, I'm happy. And I have so much in store for this um, channel. I want to do vlogs. I want to do, I'm going to do, like, moving day videos. I want to do all that good stuff. I want to even, like, do pranks with my friends when I get there. Like, it's going to be fun, like... And I can't wait to grow with you guys, you know, become like more comfortable like speaking to the camera because right now like I'm nervous. <laughs> like y'all don't, don't understand, I'm real nervous. But yeah, I just I can't wait for this journey to just take off and that's pretty much what all I got. Um thank y'all for tuning in and see y'all next time. Yes, sir.